I'm Wally Amos. Read It Loud is a foundation that creates awareness about the benefits, the values, and the importance of parents, adults, reading aloud to children from birth to age six for at least 10 minutes a day. If you do that, you will have a reader. The idea is not just to learn to read, but to have a thirst for words, a love for reading. Reading aloud works. It's been working for generations, and it works today. Read it loud! Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. So this is an interesting little book. It's called The Treasure by Yuri Shulevitz. The publisher is Sandburst Book. There once was a man, and his name was Isaac. He lived in such poverty that again and again he went to bed hungry. When you live in poverty, you have no money, you can't buy food, you can't pay shelter. So living in poverty is not a nice place to be. One night he had a dream. In his dream, a voice told him to go to the capital city and look for a treasure under the bridge by the royal palace. It is only a dream, he thought, when he woke up, and he paid no attention to it. The dream came back a second time, and Isaac still paid no attention to it. When the dream came back a third time, he said, maybe it's true. And so he set out on his journey. He left his house to go to the town, the little town, the little village where the bridge was. Now and then someone gave him a ride, but most of the way he walked. It was a long, long way away. He walked through forests. He crossed over mountains. So look, the, the illustrations are are subtle, they're not, you know, blatant, but they're very, very subtle, but uh, they really kind of, you, you can, you can kind of sense how far he had to walk and how long and how hard his journey was. Finally, he reached the capital city. Long, long, long walk. Took him a long time. But when he came to the bridge by the royal palace, he found that it was guarded day and night. So he walked all this way, and now he might not even get to go under the bridge to see if his treasure is there. He did not dare search for the treasure. Yet he returned to the bridge every morning and wandered around it until dark. One day, the captain of the guards asked him, Why are you here? Isaac told him the dream. The captain laughed and laughed. You poor fellow, he said, what a pity. You wore your shoes out for a dream. Listen, if I believed the dream I once had, I would go right now to the city you came from and I'd look for a treasure 
under the stove in the house of a fellow named Isaac. And he laughed again. So what he's telling him is that rather than walking all the way to the capital, that he should go back to his house and he should look, dig and look under the stove in his house, that that's where his treasure is. Isaac bowed to the captain and started on his long way home. He crossed over mountains. He walked through forests. Now and then someone gave him a ride, but most of the way he walked. At last, he reached his own town. When he got home, he dug under his stove, and there he found the treasure. In thanksgiving, he was so thankful. So in thanksgiving, he built a house of prayer. And in one of its corners, he put an inscription. Sometimes one must travel far to discover what is near. Isaac sent the captain of the guards a priceless ruby. And for the rest of his days, he lived in contentment. He lived peacefully and he never was poor again. So the big idea in this book is oftentimes we think our treasure of what we need is some, in some far off place. And oftentimes, boys and girls, it's right where you live. And you just have to search and look where you are. Thanks for reading, guys. Thanks for being a great audience. Bye-bye. <laughs>